Studies show that even after all this time, segregation remains widespread in this country. Here in New York, one school is trying to buck that trend, as Elaine Quijano reports. When Sophia Lavion arrived for her first day of sixth grade at Brooklyn's Park Slope Collegiate, she noticed something different. In this school, I see a lot of blacks and more Hispanic people. I was happy for the fact that this school wasn't segregated. I hate segregation. 376th through 12th graders attend this school in what used to be a minority neighborhood. For the last 10 years, fewer than 1% of the kids here were white. The neighborhood changed. It's now predominantly white. Good morning. So Principal Jill Bloomberg worked to diversify by reaching out to local parents. This past year, they welcomed 10 white students into their sixth grade class. As a system, our schools are incredibly segregated. And I had been sort of hoping that if you build it, they will come. When you're like mixed with people, you're mixed with people that can teach you things that you'd never know if everyone was the same. Naya Diaz is Lavion's classmate and friend. It's kind of dumb to for our segregation because we're basically all the same. We're good friends. I, don't, I never make fun of her. She never makes fun of me because of our race. In the past 30 years, diversity in our schools has dropped. Today, in a classroom of 30, you'll typically find 22 white students and only eight minority students. What specifically do parents think they can get out of having their children in a more racially diverse classroom? And what's the real tangible benefit? People very much believe in integration. And the ability to create that kind of situation for their children mattered. If they hear somebody saying, oh, you're black and you're white, like they say it's not okay because we're just the same. Do you think that's a good thing? Yeah, I think it's good because if you don't stop it at the source or the core of it, then it's just gonna, it's just gonna keep going and to stop it like when it starts. Researchers who've studied this issue say housing segregation has played a major role in school segregation. But they also point to a series of Supreme Court decisions in the 90s that paved the way for school districts to end their desegregation plans. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Elaine Quijano, New York.